Okay, well, I said, what's happening, my people? It's your boy Dre the Reaper, and guys, I'm here getting it done. All right, guys, so let me tell you what's going on. A lot's been going on, but um, I'm getting back in the groove of making collabs and sitting down, um, dissecting my programs and stuff like that. So, as you guys may or may not know, I've been trying to like increase on all my lifts because I am off season from everything, and during off season, I like to progress in everything. I still pose for bodybuilding. I still train for bodybuilding. I still lift for powerlifting. And I still like take my breaks like I was supposed to. Uh, eating, stuff like that. Um, and you guys have me check out a video. I am dropping another video today. It is like an update of my physique, my weight, all that, my posing and all that. So check that out. But uh, yeah, so I met this dude that named Power, guys. Check the video out. If you don't believe me, this guy is a monster. Literally, uh, his Instagram is a humble ninety four, uh, straight savage. Uh, we met a week prior to this, and we said, "Yo, let's link up, do a training, and see where we're, I mean, where each other is at for our strength." Um, he was able to, you know, we was okay with doing it. Uh, so we said, "Let's run it." So next thing you know, uh, Sadik, no, not Sadik, but Friday roll around. A week later, we start training. Um, I was pretty exhausted this weekend. I'm not even gonna lie, but I still show up, man. I, you know, I don't make no excuses. I don't. I, you know, I, I could have had an injured toe. I'm still gonna show up, you know. And that's just the athlete in me. Okay, so let me get a quick rundown of Humble '94. Humble '94 um, is a football, ex football player. Um, he's still young, man. He's 25. Bench pressing over two. I mean, bench pressing over. Um, um, bench pressing over 200 plus kg, which that is roughly about in pounds is over 500, uh, over 500. Uh, he's pretty strong, man. Very humble, uh, very smart, uh, very, very charming dude, man. Handsome stud dude, man. So he's, uh, he's weighing in over 300 plus, um, I don't think, honestly and truly, when you see him in person, you would never tell that he's 300-something plus pound. But he's pretty strong. The dude is unbelievably strong. So um, so on this day, we really just try to uh, see where each other's at, man. Like I said, if you guys want to know um, a little bit more on how to bunch and, I mean, I mean, how to bench and the tutorial and everything, uh, I already made, like, quite a few videos, so go check that out. You guys, we warmed up and uh, 315. Um, we're still warming up. Uh, funny story, Paul told me, Paul was like, Listen, bro, um, I haven't touched 225 in a long time. I said, 225? I said, Why you haven't touched 225 in a while? He said, I will start from like 315 and up. I said, What? So, yeah, just to show you the savage mentality he has to have going into the gym. Um, this is 365, guys. <laughs> No lift, no nothing. Pretty strong. I think he went for about eight to ten reps. Pretty strong, you know. And like I said, that's that's full range of motion, guys. No half reps. And I know a lot of people out there doing half reps. That's cool, but that don't get you far. Okay. So, um, I'm here with 365, and look how hard it is for me, guys. Like I. But then you gotta understand, I, I like to move on the control too. Cause I'm always thinking, okay, if I'm on command or if I'm on the platform, you know, I wanna be able to move that weight, that heavy weight for me, I wanna be able to move it very efficiently, you know? But uh, 400 pounds, moved it like it was, like it was, <laughs> like it was 225. 
Moved it like it was 225. I asked him if he need a lift. He said no. Damn. Look at that. It was 225. And then uh, there's something I picked up too watching Power. It's like um, because I'm always a person that just I don't know if my tra there's a trainer in me, but I'm looking at every little key thing. Trainer, I mean, get, I mean, uh, Power really don't plan his feet. He kind of like stays on his tippy toes. I don't know why I'm gonna ask him next time I see him. Kind of stays on tippy toes. I didn't really know until like after I was editing the video and I saw it. I was like, whoa, you know, but. This is me attempting 400. I think what it is, guys, my my um my setup sucked, so I couldn't even I couldn't even blame nothing on that. But 455, he moved it like it was a uh, he moved it like it was 315, guys. Like I said, he's pretty strong. Go we'll check him out. Coming down to four. See, guys. Okay, so here I put on four and change. Put on the slingshot. Um, I'm always trying to keep the slingshot in rotation. Probably like every two weeks. Um, try to keep it in rotation. Like I said, I'm slowly pull off the slingshots and start doing a lot of uh, blocks and pause reps. Cause those does significantly uh, bring up your bench. All right, guys. Here you guys go. 515 pounds. 515 pounds. Whoop. Like it was nothing, guys. Jesus. 515 pounds. I mean, I could squat that. I could deadlift that, but bench that right now? No. I, that's not happening for me right now. Okay, I mean, eventually I get there one day, but uh, this is a 2:30 person you're talking here. You know, I'm 2:30. You know, I'm, you know, I gotta build that strength and that mass. But uh, hey, my boy again, man. Now, he, now we're gonna attend to 5:45. He never attempted this before, but he was feeling good, so we said, let's get, let's give it a ride. He, he guys, he was close. He's there. I guarantee you. In the next two weeks, we're gonna try this again. He's gonna get that five, five forty-five, and this time he planted his feet. That five forty-five was going up. And guys, if you know, if you train with me, I, I'm not gonna to touch the weight until I really see it's coming back down to you. And, and it really did. He was there fine for a minute. I had to get it up. All right, so guys, this is the second day. I literally, uh, I mean. We trained on a Friday. We um, we didn't train on Saturday. We trained on Sunday again. So this was us. We, we did deadlift. We warmed up. We climbed up, guys. We did deadlift and bench this day. So you guys know I'm a sumo deadlift, deadlifter. So um, I can't deadlift conventional, but I choose sumo. Less pressure on the back. But this was a... Uh, it wasn't a lot. I, I, I don't know how much I was. Probably 500 and something. It wasn't a lot of weight. But right here, Power is going to mess up a little bit. He's uh, He had an injury on his finger. And, you know, his technique is slightly, it slightly needs some fixing. But because he's strong, he could pull out the floor. But... I definitely gonna break his deadlift down and work with him as much as I can on it. And you guys will see in a month or two time, I mean, in a month or two, his strength will go up in deadlift and form would got get a lot better and efficient. And yeah, and not my greatest deadlifts, guys. Exhausted. But see, I scaled him back down. Power can move the weight a lot more better. Sometimes, guys, you gotta scale the weight down. You know, just get back into it. Scale the weight down. Don't be afraid. Okay? A lot of people think, oh, you know, oh man, I you know, I don't want to look. I'm 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 big up. No, no. Scale the weight down. Sometimes technique takes a while to build. You know, so here you go, bench. 
we warmed up, climbed all the way up through 15. Um, on this day, we did the board press. Yeah, the board press. You guys gonna see what that is. It's a pad press, what I've been talking about. So this day, I didn't use no slingshot, just straight pad press. Um, the pad press is like, I mean, the pad block is like a, it's four inches thick. So it's four to two inches thick. So you could really, um, you could really get some work off of it. See, I put, I slapped it on there. I put it right in the middle so you don't have to get somebody to hold it. So um, if you're working by yourself, you could take the weight off and, and bench press by yourself. Great invention, by the way. Um, I just did 316. I mean, 365 for 363. Um, power ended up doing 400 for two sets of three or three, three sets of two. Then he went to 455. No, I lied. He went, he did four or five for two sets of five and then went to 455 for three reps and did it really good, by the way. So as you guys can see, the board press is really efficient. Is like I said, about two, three inches off your chest. And you guys see we're pausing it. I was touch and go, but power is pausing it because he's really talking about competing soon. So it's good to uh, work on that pause, work on that bottom strength. Cause a lot of times that's where you get stuck at is at the bottom. You know, so a lot of tricep work. If you get stuck at the bottom a lot, a lot of tricep work. And here you go, 455, guys. He was feeling good. And side note, Power didn't eat nothing. He's on an empty stomach, straight caffeine. Nothing. Look at that. Easy. He definitely had about two more set, I mean, two more reps in him, but we kind of kept it there because we had some little bit more work to do and accessory work to do and stuff like that. But guys, you know, strength come over time. That's my point of this whole thing. Like, I'm not trying to tell anybody that, you know, you can take such and such enhancement and become, no, I, I'm natural. A lot of people that I know is pretty natural. I know some people, a lot of people that's natty. I mean, that's not natural. And yes, you can become strong either way, but being natural, you have to take time and have, have patience. I know sometimes you get real like, man, like you don't, you don't, man, you like, man, the hell with this, you know? But just trust the progress, be patient. If you gotta, your ego gotta get shot down a little bit, you gotta work lightweight for a little minute. Make sure work the light load. Work the light load like it's heavy load, and you will progress. All right? Just don't sit at the light load forever because you will see some of your mistakes once the weight start getting heavy. Okay? So it's good to progress. Remember that. It's always good to try to progress. Don't sit somewhere to your super comfy to the point that you don't want it. You're not getting any kind of gains and results from it. Make sense? So, guys, subscribe. I mean, not subscribe, but. Support my boy Humble94 on this journey. Uh, check his Instagram out. Um, we're going to be trying to drop a video or, or try to keep you guys updated with his journey. Uh, this is his journey. Um, I, I'm here to give him guidance if he needs it. But, you know, in this sport, man, everybody's willing to help in any kind of way. So he's going to do real good. Can't wait for his first competition. He hasn't competed yet, so I'm super excited to see his first competition. Do I think he's, he could compete this year? Yes, I think he could compete this year. Um, do I think he needs some small little works? Yes, I think he needs some small little works. But overall, he's a beast. So, listen, if you're watching this, brother, keep on going. Okay, you're destined for great, man. You know, be patient with it and keep on going. Trust me, you make you make it happen. Until next time, stay up, stay strong, stay positive, And, guys, stay with this journey. We got more to come.